Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I do want a little bit of an overview of a full wave of retro collection Obi-Wan Kenobi figures, the six figures that were released from that from that episode, episodic TV series on Disney Plus. Um, I wasn't originally going to pick all of them up. I did just pick up the Obi-Wan and Vader um, originally. I wasn't going to worry about the rest, but then the rest, they all sort of went on clearance through EB Games and Zing Pop Culture for five bucks each. So I decided 20 bucks, you know, I'd get the full lineup. Um, not a big, not a big one for the retros. Um, I've stated before, if they're new, I'll go for them. If they, if they're cheap, I'll go for them. But otherwise, I'm just not really that interested in collecting duplicate copies of original figures. If they're something new, it's cool. Like these are all new characters in that vintage style. And I think Hasbro does a good job of them. Um, would I rather see these come out in regular TVC first every day of the week? Absolutely. Um, because there's three of these haven't come out in TVC yet. Do have a three and three quarter inch version of Ned B. I haven't picked that one up though. It was part of a Disney, Disney Builder Droid sort of set. Um, but for the most part, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with these. They'll, they'll make a cool display. Um, cause I've got both the waves of the Mandalorian set and uh, so yeah having all them together I think will look quite good um, I did pick up the first wave of A New Hope and then, then I sort of just I've given up since then so um, maybe we'll see what they do with retro in the future whether there's going to whether they're going to do another wave for Mando season three I uh, wouldn't write that one off yet um, still lots of characters they can do from that one but yeah I thought we'd just have a bit of a look at these uh, one by one so I'll start with the Grand Inquisitor. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> See, I'm hoping this will focus all right. So yeah, definitely gotten the uh, the vintage appeal right. Now I have stated in the past that the thing I liked about what they did with the Mandalorian figures is they got those sort of colors. Um, you know, a lot of the vintage figures, you look at the, the Kenner, like the first 12, or first 21, um, they're all very distinct in color. Um, and they did that with the Mandalorian really well. You know, you had, you had your Grief Karga, which was red and brown. You had the Grogu, um, for for example, the little green, like it was very, there was a lot of different different colors. And that, I think that was a real good appeal to it. Whereas, you know, here you got three Inquisitors or black and gray and Darth Vader just black. Um, Ned B being the, the colorful one, but um, that's okay. It's all good. I like the way they've done the Inquisitor lightsaber in vintage style. <laughs> it's a little bit corny, but it's okay. It's fine. It is what it is. Uh, the vinyl Kate, obviously. All nice and creased like they used to get. So interestingly, they've gone with um, the vinyl capes on this Inquisitor and Reva, yet they've gone soft goods on those two. Um, yeah, not sure why they've done that. But yeah, they've sort of hit those sort of basic call it sort of color schemes. Um, the thing is, his cape is a little bit too long. You can even just sort of see the level of the feet. So when you stand him down, it does sort of sit up off the... He's actually sitting up off the ground on the cape. So we have the fifth brother. He gets the same same lightsaber. Uh, pretty much the same colour scheme. He does have the Imperial Cog, which I feel like is probably a little bit more detail than they would have put on back in the vintage days. But it's, it's nice nonetheless, you know, it's a little bit of silver paint, but I'm not sure whether they would have, whether Kenner would have gone to that sort of detail back in the day. You can sort of see on the leg, even the black paint hasn't come up to the top of the boot. And that's very, uh, very much like the vintage figures. There weren't, there was no super duper quality control. Um, but these ones, these ones aren't bad. They're nice to have. Reva, she has a similar lightsaber. She's got the sort of half split one. One thing that would have been cool with Reva is if they'd given her a mask through some of it, but I mean, they, they did want to put her face on camera. 
Yeah, I think she did a good job. I really liked Moses Ingram as as Reva. I don't know that it was a story that was desperately dying to be told, but it was. Uh, I felt she was sort of a good foil for Obi Wan Kenobi um, until his match up with with Vader. Um, she had the sort of the right motivations for for her story. I think that worked out okay. Where she goes from there, who knows? I probably would have preferred to see her um, perish at Vader, at the hands of Vader. I think that would have made more sense than having her survive and go chase after Luke. But it is what it is. So there's Reva, third sister. Ned B, great character. camera to focus a little bit more on him sort of getting lost in the background a little bit there we go so yeah this one was obviously kind of the standout um, hopefully we get a vintage collection version of this one soon um, yeah he's had black series release uh, peg warmed a little bit um, <laughs> but um yeah I dare say he will get a vintage release but who knows? I'm not sure what's going on. The Disney Disney Parks did one. But yeah, he's mostly yellow, grey, little splashes of blue. And that's pretty much it. He's got his hammer. So that's cool. Uh, so then next up we have the titular character, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, really like this one. I think this one's a good one. Can get a little bit more light on him there. Let's see if we can uh, focus in on Mr. Kenobi. There we go. Seems to want to. So yeah, he's, uh, he's got the soft goods. He's got the uh, the old st style of lightsaber that sort of came in with the Empire Strikes Back figures. Um... And yeah, it looks pretty good. Some of this robe is actually made better than some of the legit, like, vintage collection robes, to be honest. Um, it, you know, it's it's simple, but it looks good. It's very similar sort of material to that of what they used in Return of the Jedi for the 1983 and onwards figures when they started getting the actual sort of soft goods like this. I don't think Empire had soft goods. I'm a bit of a non-recall moment at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it was Return of the Jedi they brought them in. But yeah, it looks like looks like Obi Wan again, nice and simple design. He does have the gun holster, simple belt, brown pants, and sort of wraps in the boots. And yeah, it kind of it, it's a likeness. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's a good likeness, but none of them are. Uh, except maybe Darth Vader, but um, yeah, it's, it's a good one. This is you know I had to, I had to at least get Obi Wan and Vader for this for this set, um, just because it was just I don't know just iconic. You know I I feel very strongly about the season. I think it was really well done. I thoroughly enjoyed watching the the series um, as a whole. Yeah, fantastic. So we're interested in whether they still a second wave, because um, you could do a different Obi Wan, you could do a Damage Vader. Um, who knows? What else could you do? Um, I don't know that anyone really stood out too much more. Maybe, maybe Owen, um, Luke, Leia, perhaps. Not sure. So last but not least, we have the Dark Lord, Darth Vader. Very similar to his vintage counterpart does have the uh this style lightsaber and he does have the red eyes which is you know very much a new hope um the soft goods cape is nice too definitely a welcome addition there did find it strange that because they gave the uh like i was saying before with these two with reaver and the and, and the grand inquisitor they got the vinyl white invader 
but I'm uh, kind of glad they gave him something a little bit different just to distinguish him from the rest go and again soft goods that is slightly better than some of the vintage figures that have got going on at the moment um, I just got the Death Star 2 Vintage Collection Darth Vader and his robe's already sort of fraying along the seam um, whereas this one's holding up really nicely so I may have, to, may have to try swap and see what happens if I can find another Darth Vader, one of these Darth Vaders for 5 bucks I may uh, swap it out <laughs> yeah, not too bad at all, I, I do like these figures, I think they're cool um, yeah, definitely don't need to get them all it's 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 a cool little collection to have and uh you know in the setting up setting up of my new room and be interesting to see how i can fit these into the collection uh with their other sort of uh retro counterparts um you know I, I, it's 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 a bit of a fun fun little series to collect especially if you can get them really really cheap um later on if you can just hold off um and yeah grab them for five bucks each you, you you've you got an instant win there so Anyway, just wanted to do a bit of a video of uh, this retro wave. I certainly enjoyed recording this and having it, being able to sort of hey, take a close look at these figures. They've sort of been in storage for the most part since I bought them. I did have the Obi Wan Invader sort of on show for a little bit uh, when I got them, but uh, the rest of them just pretty much just got ripped out of the card and then straight into a baggie. So. It's good to have them out and open and let them breathe for a little bit. So, um, yeah, thanks for checking it out, guys. Uh, appreciate any comments, feedback. Let me know what you think of the retro line. Um, yeah, please. And uh, we'll see you again for another one real soon. Till then, may the force be with you, always.